you guys won't finally believe it, but we've got to the time where we can click on our Dragon Trials, and as the title says, we can finally buy out in this. So let's do that all today, Awakener, and actually give you some of my personal thoughts on Hero, and we're just going to talk about it, and obviously you want me to do some tests, we're going to be doing some testings in the future. Hello guys, yes, smash like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaky, the one and only, and we're here again doing, obviously, more Call of Dragons content, and we've got, finally, the very last one remaining, I know it's crazy, finally, I can press the 20k, and we are done with her, and what it actually means for my account is I actually don't have to worry about any of the heroes, and it means I can actually just use it to buy anything now, obviously, in this refresh area, so I can obviously refresh, buy out obviously the resources the speed ups go to the next one if it's stars and stuff we can do that so without further ado let's finally make this zero on our indice boom don't have to do any more work for her which is amazing and we've got obviously our 50k left over so we will just just to show bam 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 get all this beautifulness bought hit the free and again, we can get some more speed ups, you know, we can keep doing that. And if I really wanted to, and this is the beauty of it, because I have so much dragon glass, and I'm going to get so much more dragon glass all the time, I can technically keep refreshing and look at this now. I can technically, like, once I save up and technically get this next one, guess what? We can hit again, we can get this big one. So you can see there's actually some good resources and actual stuff that you can get through the dragon trial store. So that's another kind of benefit for my account. I'm going to start, obviously, pumping up that greatness but guess what it's time to get grandma honestly the one and only in this the free <coughs> legendary hero you get in the game only now maxed out and you guys know i did have my indus 5155 i was really really lucky on that but here we go boom fully awakened <laughs> can't believe it the grandma is done i'm actually buzzing now so if you're wondering what the difference is with the Awakening, it is the fact that you're getting three second Infirm Trigger. That's the more important thing. Yes, you do get 100 extra healing on um, the little, you know, AoE heal that you have. But the actual power behind this hero, I believe, is actually going to be this three second Infirm. It's actually super, super powerful. It's increasing all damage taken by 20%. On that target and obviously to nearby um legions is so good when it comes into it right and this hero people i think have been sleeping it for a long time and we've been giving obviously advice and i know other channels have started to give advice too and she's a really good actual t4 hero like if you're a t4 player you'd be surprised on how well she is for your account because the power on in this is actually in this fourth skill. The 50% the counter-attack damage reduction is so good for T4 players. It's actually under, like, so underestimated this for them. Because the thing with the T4 player, what they normally get punished by is actually hitting a T5 player, right? You hit that insane, it could be like two to 6,000 counter-attack damage with crits and, and so much, right? But you can literally cut that in half, which is so, so powerful. And it adds actually you so like survivability in the field. And then on top of this, you also get, you know, the 15 or 20% should I say HP, which is insane. It gives you so many stats. But it's all about surviving. It's all about survivability. And then as a support hero, because that's what she is, she's giving you and your allies basically a really good big debuff. So I'm not going to say right now there might be some insane match with her. I am going to do some experimenting myself now that she's awakened um, on the field and see what I actually kind of like using. So far, I've always actually kind of liked using her with some infantry. And if he was a Spring Warden player, the ranged cavalry with Indus is actually a beautiful combination too, just to shout that out there, right? And if you are probably wondering about a talent, you'll see I actually do have the Gathering Talent page set up because that's all I've been using it for. But maybe I do switch it up and get a different page because the beautiful thing with Indies is that you got the overall and support tree. And the thing is with the support tree, depending on what build you want to do, you can actually benefit really easily with these skills in the, the support tree. 
But again, in the other tree, and I think the overall tree is a lot more safer and better for this march. You can actually get stuff like Guardian Angel or go for the Rage Generation if you really want to. And on top of this, again, you can get some really good stats with Thunder Fury. And if you want more of a damage based build, you can go for Cornered Rat. So. I think there's quite a lot of stuff we can go for in here. So I am going to obviously do some experimenting um, on the build. And when I get that obviously information and what I feel is actually good for a T4 player, obviously I'll give you guys that info outright in, in its own video. But boys, it's it's been a long ride. And if, if you're wondering how long it's taken me, I'm just going to say it straight out. I know there's probably players that's done it sooner only because of the ability of doing Dragon Trials, you know, quicker. So, like, T5 players should have in this Awakened. But normally, T4 players do struggle with it. And, and that's kind of, like, the one thing I was going to kind of touch on in this video is about Dragon Trials. A lot of people, honestly, do not like it. And I understand it, right? It's a very boring grind. But it's really important. I honestly want to tell you guys it's so important. Even if you really, really don't care about Indus. I'm just going to be honest. If you don't care about Indus, it's still super important. Just the, the amount of XP you're gaining passively when you're not playing the game. And obviously you're just chilling out. This is just going to tick up, right? And then you can just level up a hero too. Then on top of this, even if you, like I say, didn't want to get this in this, there's so many good rewards that you want. And you could even work on epic heroes if you have a bunch of epic heroes, to be honest, to work on. So there's always something to do in here. And I wanted to just kind of give this some positivity because it has had a revamp since last time. You know, we can kill behemoths and have some really cool, cool and fun game modes in it instead of how it used to be, which is a little bit boring. But you've only got 160 levels to do. That's if you're in all of the seasons. So normally in season one, you'll have way less. I think it's something like 80 to 60 stages. Just complete them. I'm just going to be honest with you. And then in the next seasons and so on, you'll get all up to 160. It's nice and simple, boys. Honestly, just, just grind it out. And even if, and this is the best tip for, for you guys, even if you don't manage in the first season to actually complete your first 80, right? So if you don't even get these first 80 here completed, right, and, and you just stop and you can't get, say, like, these last five stages, you can't get done, don't worry about it. Because when the next season starts and you get the new or added bonus here of extra missions, these ones actually become easier. They, they tone these ones down and then you actually get basically like a, almost like a, you know, an easy mode again from the beginning so you, you'll be surprised that you can actually start grinding quite a lot again straight through so don't don't sleep on dragon trials i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of hope i know it, it, it's not fun but look it's a free legendary hero i'm just saying i've just now got technically two legendary heroes awakened yes lilia and my indis but i am working on some other legendary heroes now as well and even my nika as you guys can see very very close you look at that 50 heads and we're already getting on the the board so i think it's 130 i need in total and she's awakened too so a lot of my gold key commanders are getting there so just play it's a it's more of giving you guys hope you know this is what your account could be looking like basically after like 500 plus days and if you're in a you know if you're in a very competitive alliance say like tfs bdo noir any of those kind of like families and stuff that are really known in the game you are going to grow a lot quicker i'm not gonna lie i know players that have higher vip than i do because they're in bigger spending alliances than i was in my pre previous beta, you know, days. So it just showcases like everyone has different paces and it just showcases again what pace can be changed just by being in a good alliance and stuff. And the perks of honestly, um, grinding Dragon Trials and just grinding out the game as long as you can. If you keep doing it, your account's gonna get there. And I promise you boys, you know, your T5 will get there. I'm telling you, you won't do what I'm doing I'm going to make a video specifically on how to push for T5 tech, but you are going to have T5 tech, I promise you, over time. You will have it, then you'll have your heroes already, you know, the ones that you need already awakened and stuff. And then you'll have your T5 unlocked and you'll be surprised how much power you will have because you've done the right focus. You've focused on your commanders, you've focused on like your artifacts. 
and you've let the the tech kind of do its thing all the time you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying guys so if you've enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit more of a chill one i was honestly just hyped so I finally awakened this girl and obviously I'm going to be using her in the future in different marches. If you want to ask for any in particular march, just put a comment below as you guys know. And if you've enjoyed the video, smash a like, comment and subscribe. You know what to do, share it around and hopefully we can keep growing. We are in smashing daily content like always for Call of Dragons and we are pumping it out. So until the next video guys, stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.